Well, good afternoon, friends. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Blue Sports Report without you guys, as well as you ladies. You know that this literally does not work. Um, good news is Dak Prescott is throwing dimes, unlike Danny Dimes. I don't know what Danny Dimes throws, but they, they're not dimes. Dak Prescott looks good in practice. He is lighting up, hitting Amari Cooper, hitting Cedric Wilson, hitting everybody. So I think we can put to rest whether or not Dak Prescott is going to be ready to rock and roll. But not everything is roses right now. Uh, Lyle Collins left practice early uh, with this neck stringer. And a stringer is basically, it's like a pinched nerve. It's like a nerve in your neck and stuff and shoulder that just kind of locks up and kind of makes it kind of numb. Typically, it's, uh, you know, you, you ice it, uh, you take anti-inflammatories like ibuprofen and stuff to get the swelling and stuff down, and then you'll treat it with heat and things, and it should be, if it's a grade one, something that only lasts for a couple of days or grade two, maybe two weeks or something like that. If it's a grade three, which is a severe one, it's one of those things that can linger and be there for the whole year. Hopefully, it's just kind of a, you know, a little, little twinge there, um, so hopefully that's not too bad. Um couple of things I want to address, and, and I, I feel a little testy today. I don't know why I feel testy, but, you know, some people have kind of gotten underneath my skin a little bit because I'm sick and tired of people so worried about preseason, you know. I, I've got people that are saying to me that the Cowboys, you know, they don't look good in preseason, you know, I, and when the Cowboys don't look good in preseason, they don't do well. And so my, here's my thing. So right now, the Houston Texans are 2-0 and in preseason. Does anybody out there think that the Texans are a good team? The Jets are 2-0 and in preseason right now. And they're going against, uh, you know, the Eagles tonight. And if they win, and all of a sudden they're, they're, they could be 3-0. and If the Jets go 3-0 and tonight, are you thinking that they're headed for the Super Bowl? Hey, man, look at them Jets, man. They 3-0 in preseason. Time to bust them mother humpers up, man. They, they good, man. They, they good. Them Jets, they look good in preseason, man. Uh, you know, I'm going to take them. I'm, I'm going go, to go to my sports book, and I, I'm going to be betting on the Jets because, man, they looked real good in preseason, man. All right, uh, let, let me break it down for you guys, okay? Uh, like, like this person said, well, I don't know why they didn't try and do, you know, this kind of play or that kind of play, you know, to get more out of it because you don't want to show the other team what, you, you know, you don't want to show them your gravy plays. You don't want them to have any idea what you're going to run. So you keep that stuff hidden. Now, maybe a lot of you don't know this, but the Cowboys have actually on the defense, and I actually think the defense has actually looked a lot better than most years. Defense has been, sort of course, starting Keanu O'Neill and um, Mika Parsons. But they've also been blitzing the hell out of it 46.6% of the time, which is higher than anybody did last year. I don't think the Cowboys necessarily, necessarily will blitz that much. They might. They might. But I think what they're doing is they're trying different packages. I have seen, you know, uh, Randy Gregory you know, on one play, three-point stance, rushing the quarterback. Next play, you know, in a two-point stance and going in coverage. You know, they're experimenting. Do you realize that for preseason, you know, we've been playing multiple combinations on the offensive line. Connor Williams last week played more snaps at center than he did at guard. Connor Williams isn't going to be starting at guard. I mean, at center. We had uh, Michael Steele having more snaps than anybody else, half of them at left tackle, half of them at right tackle. They've been doing different combinations of things, and there's not going to be any cohesion because they are experimenting. That's what it is. And typically, teams that aren't real good, they coach to try and win, to try and get that moral victory because they know it's going to be a rough season. Let's, let's try and get the guys to have a good feeling. Teams that are usually much better – tend to say this is an experiment and if you think that you know having garrett you know uh, double g or cooper rush or ben dianucci is the same as having dak prescott out there you know throwing to cd lamb michael gallup and amari cooper if you think that that team that you've been seeing out there with guys that probably won't make the roster is the same there i can't help you 
I, I just can't help you on that one. And I was just like, guys, just stop. Just stop. But here's the, the craziest thing that I think that I have heard ever, ever. Today, my mind has been blown. So I'm, I'm going through, I'm setting up the stream because tonight we'll be live streaming uh, during the Eagles-Jets game because, you know, they're the competition and we want to check them out, <clears throat> see what they're doing and so on. And I was going through the Twitter and I came across this tweet that I was like, what? It says, ex-Patriot quarterback says Cam Newton distracted by rap music. Urges <clears throat> former, oh, excuse me, urges team to stop playing rap music in practice. He believes rap music is hurting Cam Newton's game. First of all, I was like, Scott Zolak, Scott Zolak. It's like, I, I, it, it rings a bell because you don't know too many people with the, a, a Z. You know, I mean, you, you know, we don't know about the Zoltar machine. You remember Zoltar because there's not very many Z names, especially in the NFL. So I was like, Scott Zolak, Scott Zolak. So I looked it up because I was like, yeah, okay. Scott Zolak played with the New England, well, I guess that's kind of relative. He was on the team 92 to 98 and then was with the Miami Dolphins for a year, which, again, all of this is kind of relative. <clears throat> His playing career consisted of, wait for it, 1,314 yards, eight TDs, seven interceptions. A three and four record. So let me give you exactly what he said. I turn off the rap music, first of all, because I think it's distracting for Cam here. Because in between every throw, he's dancing. I did and see like, Ka- I did see Karen Garigian of the Herald tweeting about that as he took the field. He's I, doing it in between drills, you're saying. Yeah, he, he, yeah, he makes a throw, and then the music's still cranking. I know you can hear it uh, faintly in the background here. I think it's distracting for you. No, it's when they play Bon Jovi. That's yeah. like the only thing. No, I'm kidding. Um, but he can't help himself to where Mac looks like he came to work again. Like, he's here to work. And everything's attention to detail. I can't, but that. But, it, but again, is Cam that. Style. What, what well, is going to say? Is that atypical? That, none of this sounds this atypical for Cam. Yeah. Nothing different. Yeah. Nothing okay. different. Well, that's what he does then, right? I mean, so yeah, I, I, I would. It would be. To me, it would be more noteworthy if he was doing something that was out of character. Like, it sounds like he's doing all the same stuff, which means he might be first saying? through the drills, which I don't, which I don't like. I don't like it all. By the way, we got a tweet from Brady. And I think this is a good point. You said yesterday, though, you would be pissed if Cam worked with the ones today. In and team, that, yes. So, so, why, so why the change of heart? Um, because I think they need to take a hard look at him. I think, it's deci- I think it's decision week, really. Like, just because what happened yesterday, I think you need one more look at Cam just to say, you know what? I, I, need, I need confidence <laughs> in my decision. I'm going to go with Mac here. I need to see that Cam didn't take the five days off serious. That he came out, he's still jacking around. Um, just looks like Matt came to work today and he didn't. So you're like, kind, so I'm you're kind of with me. You still think it's going to be Cam? I, I, I think he Bill hasn't needs- lost the job yet. Okay. Uh, okay. Why is it? Can, can somebody explain to? Uh, okay, listen. Okay, L- truth be told, listen. I am here in my basement, not my mama's basement. This is mine. Well, okay. Mine and my wife's in the banks, okay? Let, let's be clear, okay? I love you, honey, okay? It's mine, my wife's, and, and the banks, okay? We own this property together. It's our basement. It's not my mama's basement. I got a day job. I do construction work and woodworking and custom cabinets and stuff, right? And I got a voodoo doll. So I'm not an expert. I'm not a former NFL player. I, I played some, you know, played special teams at JMU back in the 80s, okay? So, I'm not an expert, but it seems like they always hire guys who were former quarterbacks that were never, never worse. We listen to Dan Orlowski, Mr. I Ran Out of Bounds in the, you know, 
back of the end zone and lost the game because we got a safety in a tied game. And, and Scott Zolak, a guy who has got 1,300 yards, is saying Cam needs to turn off you know, the, the rap music. He's dancing in between plays. Are you kidding me? Scott Zolak, maybe if you had some rap music on in between plays, maybe you would have had more than 1,300 yards. How about that? Why, why do we get these guys out here that literally are nobodies and they're deemed experts how to tell somebody who was a MVP of the league, went to a Super Bowl, was on a team that was 15-1. and one. This guy is going to say, oh, I think Cam Newton shouldn't listen to rap music. He shouldn't. Oh, he shouldn't listen to rap. That's, he's distracted by rap music. Seriously? Now, I'm an old guy. You know, I'm that guy that's saying, get off my front lawn, you know, so to speak. This guy's really that guy saying, get off my front lawn. I, 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 I'm mystified on this one. I, 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 I just don't even know where to go with this. Wow. Rap music is Cam Newton's problem. Whew. All right, y'all. You're up to date on the Dallas Cowboys. My man, Dak Prescott, is looking good. And uh, can't wait. We got, guys, 13 days, four hours, and seven minutes to kick off against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And I will see you later.